Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Keldegorband here, and today I'm going to show you another how-to video, and this is regarding the Divide and Conquer sub-mod for Third Age Total War. So, there's been a couple of requests uh, for both Third Age Reforged and Third Age Divide and Conquer, just to kind of give an updated how-to video. So, if you haven't checked out my Third Age Reforged video, go ahead and check that out. But this is mainly going to cover only the Divide and Conquer mod for Third Age Total War. So, I'm going to show you all about how to download it. So, first thing we need to go is to moddb.com. So, once you type that into your browser, at the top you should see a little search icon. So, we're going to type in, start typing in Divide and Conquer, and it should be the top one that pops up on the screen. Now, Divide and Conquer, what it is, is it's a total overhaul for the Third Age Total War campaign. So, if you guys are looking for a Third Age campaign, Divide and Conquer is the submod for you. If you're not really interested in the campaign and you're more into Third Age multiplayer, uh, the Divide and Con or sorry, the Third Age Reforged, which is the submod for Third Age Total War, that one is a total overhaul with uh, the multiplayer function. So it's adding a lot of new units, a lot of new battle maps. So if you're more into multiplayer than the campaign, uh, don't download this Divide and Conquer. Go and do the Third Age Reforged. But I'm going to show you how to have both of the mods running at the same time. They just can't be in the same folder. They will never work in the same folder. But I'll walk you through that as we go along. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can see that there's four files here. So we're going to need to download all of these files for Divide and Conquer to work. So we've got Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, and the Patch 1.2, which came out about six months ago. So I'm going to show you on the first part what the steps are, because this is pretty basic at this point. So you're just going to go and click this Download Now button. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a little Downloads bar that should populate in the bottom of your browser. And there should be the four files that start to download. So make sure that you do the part one and then go back, do the part two, part three, and the patch. So you need to have four files, okay? And then what we're also going to do, uh, so if we go into our main local disk and then go into program files 86 and Steam, Steam apps, common, medieval 2, and mods. So here uh, we're going to do a little bit of work while your stuff is downloading. So let it download. It's probably going to take about 15 minutes or so. So free, feel free to pause the video at any time. But while that's going on, uh, what I would like you guys to do is to make a copy of this Third Age uh, folder. So this is the base game, Third Age 3.2, right here. So you can see that I've made a copy of it and put it on my desktop because I want to have a nice fresh install. And I've also made a third copy, and that's where I downloaded my Third Age Reforged. So you see how we're going to make this one Divide and Conquer and this one Third Age Reforged. Uh, I've, I've found a lot of people, they try to put both submods into the same Third Age folder, and it just causes a world of problems. So, uh, yeah, just, just make a copy of that and put it on your desktop so you can have the Third Age 3 here. So make sure that it's named Third underscore Age underscore 3. And then looking into your downloads folder here, so you should start as soon as the files are finished, you should start to see part one, part two, and part three, and the patch populating. So we need to do this in chronological order. Don't just start with the patch. You need to do one, two, three, then the patch. So I'm going to kind of walk you through part one. So if you double click on that, it's going to start loading up the install wizard. Here we go. So, of course, we're going to accept the terms and conditions and hit next and next. And then just double check that it says this. Make sure that it is the same. So you want Steam Apps, Common, Medieval 2, Total War, Mods, Third Age 3. So make sure that this right here is the exact same name because we want to put it in that. And then in the data folder. So as long as that's okay, we're going to hit next. And yet yeah, we're going to overwrite it and install. And it's going to start working on installing the mod. And when I ran into this with the first version, it's going to pop up with something saying uh, this, this folder already exists and that it wants you to retry it. 
and you have to hit retry like 15 or 20 times. So just keep hitting retry, 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 and then finally it just auto-populates and starts to download the rest of the folder. So a little glitch there, but if you just hit it 15 or 20 times, it'll actually go through. But I'm going to cancel that. Uh, yeah, because... Rolling back changes, thank you. Uh, yeah, because I already have everything installed. And then do the same thing for part two, part three, and the patch. And as far as my install went, I didn't have to hit the retry 15 to 20 times on any other parts. It was just part one. Okay. <clears throat> so once that's finished, we can close the downloads folder. And in the third age three folder, you're going to see this little third age icon here. So I'm just going to rename that so that it's nice and uh, neat in my mind. Whoops, we don't need to scream it. So I'm going to name that Divide and Conquer just so I know what the uh, start wizard is for that. And I'm going to go ahead and load this up so that you guys can see the finished product. Alright guys, so here we have loaded up into the main menu. Uh, I've just kind of cut out the beginning intro because I don't know with copyright issues if that's allowed to be shown. But as far as the music sounds, this doesn't really sound like Lord of the Rings, so I'm going to leave it in. But if we go into single player and the third age campaign, you can see that is a total overhaul. It looks vastly different. There's a lot of uh, new factions. Kingdom of Dale. I don't even know some of these factions. Haradrim Tribes, Isengard. Easterlings, just a ton of factions. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, so, hopefully, you enjoyed this uh, how to video. Hopefully, it was informative. Be sure to leave a like and comment if you guys have any issues, and I will try and help you out as much as I can. If you're having issues with crashing, be sure to check out the Total War forum because that's where people just like you and me uh, post their problems and also solutions. So, you may find some solutions on there. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more how-to videos in the future, and I will see you in the next one.